The border. America's got two. But we all know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> it's become a perpetual flashpoint in American politics. Do you shut it all down or do you let everyone in? These are the only two options. And this weekend, it all came to a head. Breaking news on the U.S.-Mexico border. Federal officials closing down California's largest border crossing right now between San Diego and Tijuana. Shortly after, hundreds of migrants overwhelm Mexican police and rush toward the border. Mexico's Interior Ministry said around 500 migrants tried to violently enter the U.S. Sunday. U.S. authorities claimed some of the migrants threw rocks and other projectiles at U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Okay, now, I don't think it's fair to say those people were illegally trying to enter the United States, all right? Maybe they were just rushing into the country for all of those Black Friday deals. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe those Hondurans were like, I don't even know what a Roku is, but at 80% off, I would be a fool not to chase across the border to try get it. And you know, what I found really interesting about this story is how much it changes depending on where you get your news. The U.S. Border Patrol fires tear gas to stop migrants including women and children on Mexico's side of the divide. I don't mean to be hyperbolic about it, but clearly what happened yesterday were people trying to invade our border. You were just hyperbolic about it. <laughs> so, do you, see, do you see what this is? So, it was either innocent women and children who were just strolling through a park in Mexico and then got surprised by tear gas, or innocent Border Patrol agents were attacked by hordes of violent brown people singing the Narcos theme song as they came across. <laughs> Soy el fuego, be not also si. And, like, what's also interesting to me is that both sides are viewing this as a validation that they were right all along. One side is like, you see, I told you America is the most immigrant-hating nation of all time. And then the other side is like, you see, I told you they were coming to invade. But let's be honest, this wasn't an invasion, okay? It was frustrated asylum seekers at the border throwing stones, which, we can be honest, probably isn't gonna help their case. Because you know Trump is gonna use this as proof that all asylum seekers are criminals and dangerous. Like, throwing stones will not help you get into America. Unless you can throw them, like, really fast, like, 95 miles an hour, because then <laughs> maybe the Yankees will help you get in. They'll be like, yeah, no, no, bring... He, he, he comes in, he comes in. <laughs> and by the way, one reason these immigrants are getting desperate is that they can't just stay put, because it turns out that Mexico doesn't want them either. Mexican authorities say that they have arrested 39 migrants and they plan to deport anyone who tried to enter the U.S. illegally. The Mexican government also says that since mid-October, when the caravan first started to arrive here, they have deported nearly 11,000 people, Central Americans, back to their home countries. We uh, are here because our government has not uh, taking control of these, what we call invasion. That's right. You may not know this, but Mexico also doesn't want people coming in from their southern border. Like, I bet if Trump watched that on the news, he'd be so confused. <laughs> he'd be like, you know what? Maybe some of those Mexican rapists are good people. <laughs> and it's crazy to realize that no matter what country you go to, people can always be racist against someone further south, right? <laughs> Americans don't like Mexicans, and then Mexicans don't like Central Americans, and I bet Central Americans hate South Americans, and then South Americans are like, get out of here, penguins! <laughs> you tuxedo-wearing mother <laughs> And now, there are some people who have said, I may not agree with how these immigrants tried to come into the country, but I still think that shooting them with tear gas is a little extreme. Well, if you watched Fox News, you'll see that one man's tear gas is another man's condiment. To clarify, the, the type of deterrent being used is OC pepper spray. It's literally water, pepper, with a small amount of uh, alcohol for evaporation purposes. It's natural. You could actually put it on your nachos and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> you could put it on your nachos and eat it. That guy makes it sound like people crossing the border is just a scam for immigrants to get free spice. It's just like, oh, man, this food's so bland. Let's try to cross the border, man. For more on this, we turn to a man who is banned from crossing the border into Mexico. Michael Costa, everybody. Michael. I would love to know what you think. Do you, do you agree that um, the American government using tear gas was a step too far? I mean, people were literally running away with tears in their eyes. Uh, well, thanks, Trevor. I mean, first of all, this whole tear gas thing. I mean, gas doesn't cause tears, okay? Being abandoned by your father because you're worthless causes tears. <laughs> 
Trevor, these babies at the border, they need to stop crying because pepper spray, it's basically just sriracha in aerosol form. So you would eat pepper spray? Yeah. Put it on a plate of nachos, I'm good. Oh, because I've... Oh. I've got a plate of nachos. Oh, well, uh... <laughs> oh, look, nachos. I've also got pepper spray. Oh. Uh... Bring it on, bro. Yeah. You said you can eat it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, 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 okay. I mean, you know, these, uh, these immigrants try to... They shouldn't be put off by a little bit of a hot, spicy pepper. <laughs> They're not gonna make it in America anyway, Jesus Christ, because these borders... <laughs> Is it hot in here for anybody else, or what? <laughs>